Hey guys, welcome to Data Tech, your one-stop channel for all the data science and machine learning updates. Currently, the market is very hot around generative AI and companies are hiding a lot around Gen AI front. The reason is that companies are solving many interesting problem statements using generative AI, using LLMs, using regs, using Gen AI agents and so on. In this video, we will look at four such use cases where companies have utilized LLMs and generative AI to solve industrial use cases. This is the part one and in the next video, we will look at another four use cases. So without any further delay, let's get started. First use case, we look for the DoorDash company, how they have used Gen AI. Uh, I will add the link of the blog in the description section. DoorDash is a company for food and grocery online delivery. They used LLMs for labeling their products. Issues faced while data labeling, they solved cold disturb problem with LLMs. They have labeled organic products using LLMs and they have also solved entity resolution with uh, retrieval augmented generation, basically a rag based system. We'll see all of them in details. DoorDash doesn't just deliver food from restaurant, they also deliver groceries, medical items, beauty products, alcohol and much more. The app needs to track specific attributes in order to properly identify the product. Uh, for a cane of coke, these attributes can be size which is 12 fluid ounces, flavor cherry, type, diet. On the other hand, for a bottle of shampoo, the brand could be Dove, type, shampoo, keyword, anti dandruff, size 500 ml and so on. This kind of attributes once detected power search and other different components of the website so detecting these attributes is super important uh, now they need an intelligent ml system that can handle creation and maintenance of these attributes or key value pairs based on products name and description the challenges they face here is one is cold start problem labeling organic product and entity resolution we'll see them in details now what is a cold start problem let's say dual dress doesn't have Costco brand in their platform and suddenly the Costco brand joins the platform. Costco sells a bunch of their own product under the Kirkland brand. So a traditional NLP system would not recognize Kirkland branded items. Why? Because it was not there in a the training set. It's a new item. It's a new brand. So that was not there in the training set. So uh, the ML model won't identify that it is a brand. However, LLMs are already trained on vast amount of data. GPT-4 has knowledge of Costco products and even understand memes around Costco's chicken and so on because LLMs are trained on public data sets. So they know Costco is a brand. With this base knowledge, LLMs can perform extremely well without requiring labeled examples, zero shot prompting or even requiring just a few examples to identify this kind of new products or deal with cold start problems. And how they solve the cold start problem? Uh, they don't run LLMs for all the products. It will be very costly and also LLMs are slow, right? So that what they do is they use their in-house named entity recognition system to identify all the products, description, attributes. Wherever the items cannot be tagged confidently, there they use LLMs for brand recognition. Third step is once the product is uh, identified, they will do a rag based search, which is retrieval augmented generation. I have a video on rag. I will add in the description section so that you can understand what RAG is. In a nutshell, what RAG does is it combines the public knowledge or language understanding and language generation power of LLM with private data set. So what they do is once they have identified the new item, they will search in their uh, vector store. Is there any other item similar to it and all the items similar to it will be uh, retrieved using the vector search and then Again, LLM will be used to check whether the two products are same or not. If the product is same, then it won't extract the attributes. But if the item is new, it will be added to the knowledge base, basically, which means it will be added to the training data set of in-house classifiers. So next time it is detected in the first step itself of named entity recognition. And if some item is not detected with high confidence, it is passed to an LLM to identify the brand and other attributes, followed by a retrieval augmented generation search and then adding to the knowledge base. Other problem statement they also solved was organic product identification. Sometimes DoorDash needs to solve pro problems like properly labeling organic products. Organic products, uh, they have a special section for it, which is fresh and organic section. And uh, the problem is that simple string matching algorithms doesn't work because an organic product may uh, be misspelled or it could go under a different name like natural, non-GMO, hormone free, unprocessed and so on. So, to identify the organic product correctly, the semantics needs to be understood correctly and LLMs are super good at it. LLM reasoning is used to identify these organic products uh, and they are saying that this has massively improved their coverage and address the challenges faced with just doing string matching. 
and um, they also have further enhanced this approach by using LLM agent. LLM agents are what which can uh, use tools like web search and so on. So these LLM agents not only use the LLM reasoning but also do web search and other uses of tools to further empower LLMs to rightly identify the organic products. And third problem statement they have solved is entity resolution problem. They have also solved for entity resolution problem using LLM. So what they want to solve here is they want to identify whether the two items are same or not. For example, Corona Extra Mexican Larger 12 whose cross 12 city referred to the same product as Corona Extra Mexican Larger Beer Bottles 12 Pack 12 Floor Ooze. These two are the same item. So they can be uh, treated as one. How they solve this problem is they have utilized a rag to solve this problem. So what they do is given a product they find the most similar items uh, let's say top k similar items using vector search that is what they have explained here they calculate the embeddings for each item then they find the top k similar items to each product and once the top k items are there they do a uh, uh, augmented prompt to gpt4 they uh, to identify whether the two items are same or not so, and uh, since llms are super good at identifying this kind of problem statements they are able to classify with high confidence whether the two items are same or not and if same they are clubbed together so this is an interesting block from doodash where they have solved cold start problem they have also solved for uh, organic labeling of the products correctly which has increased the coverage and also they have they have solved for entity resolution problem where two items which are same they actually want to club together even if uh, minor differences here and there in their uh, descriptions Another interesting blog is from Uber, which is an Uber Gen AI on-call co-pilot. So uh, let's look at this problem statement as well. So what Uber has done is uh, they have solved the, for the problem of question answering during an on-call process. There are many teams and many teams have this inter-team dependencies where they will ask a lot of questions in the on-call. and. Uh, the, uh, the person who has asked the question has to wait till the other on-call person is available and there is many manual process many times the same repetitive questions are being asked because those have been answered already over some slack messages or they have been already uh, listed in some internal documentation so they have implemented a rack for it so you can see that at uber different teams like michelangelo team have slack support channels where their internal users can ask for help people ask around 45000 questions on these channels each month high volume of questions and long uh, wait times reduce productivity of on call engineers so what they have done is many questions could have been answered by referring to existing documentation or uh, they are already answered in their internal slack channel and so on so what they have done is they have created a rag based system uh, with these information this private information their internal wiki as well as the slack messages as uh, the private data created vectors out of it so what happens whenever a query comes a vector search happens over slack messages and internal wikipedia the most relevant documents are retrieved and that it is uh, sent to an LLM. LLM is powered with this internal information uh, so that LLM's power of language understanding and language generation can be best utilized to answer to the user query. And uh, you can see, read the blog for more details. I will add it in the description section. And uh, the benefit that they have uh, seen by implementing this is Genius expanded its presence to 154 Slack channels as and has answered over 70,000 questions. Genie boasts a 48.9% helpfulness rate, showing its growing effectiveness. We estimate it saved us 13,000 engineering hours so far since its launch. So this is an awesome application of LLM. We will look at um, one more example of uh, utilizing LLMs in industrial use case, which is drag and crawl. Drag and crawl is a Uber AI agent to do mobile testing. So let's look in details. In 2023, Uber took a new exciting challenge to change how they test mobile applications with a focus on machine learning. Specifically, we are training models to test our applications just like real humans would. To solve this problem, they created Drag and Crawl, a system that uses language models to execute mobile tests with the intuition of a human. It decides what actions to take based on a screen it sees and independently adapts to UI changes just like a real world human would. So what are LLMs? LLMs are advanced models designed to understand, interpret, generate and engage with human language in a way that, that is both meaningful and contextually relevant. So what they realized was we could formulate mobile testing as a language generation problem. At the end of the day, mobile tests are sequences of steps which may encounter obstacles and or course corrections due to changes in the apps, devices, etc. 
we provide drag and crawl with a text representation of the current screen so if you see here the current screen is uh, something this type where the person is trying to book a uber so what they do is we provide drag and crawl with a text representation of the current screen along with the goals of the test here goal could be request a trip and so on we provide drag and crawl with a text representation of the current screen along with the goal of the test we want to execute and then we ask it what we should do given the context it chooses ui element to interact with and how to interact with and because these models have been pre-trained and proven resilient in language besides english we can ask drag and crawl these questions with text in other languages as well so it understand multiple languages so what they do is they provide the screen all the description what is there in the screen and what is the goal they want to do like for example request the trip what the llm will do it will come up with a sequence of steps to try to book a uh, cab and uh, they have told about the models they have used and you can look into it for more details i will add the link of the blog in the description section the main idea is to give you a flavor how companies are utilizing gen ai in their production systems so also they face some challenges while implementing it for example partially invalid action sometimes it can say click a button the button is not clickable but swipeable so uh, the ui element now will directly provide what is the type of action which is uh, there in that entity so it solves for that problem second is that completely invalid action sometimes it may uh, give you completely invalid action so they would append it to the previously suggested invalid action so that next time whenever it suggests that it can be invalidated also loops or repeated actions we may end up in loops uh, or repeated actions in this case uh, we handle by keeping track of actions already taken so that it doesn't go in a loop and so on and this is the drag and crawl in action where it is trying to book an uber and uh, it goes online in australia so some of the interesting scenarios they have uh, shared that's what happened once uh, uh, it was not going live and what drag and crawl did it for continuously five minutes it was pressing the uh, go button till it went live so these are some interesting uh, things that it did another interesting thing that it did was there was some glitch in the payment so it was not able to do the payment so what it did was it closed the app and reopened the app and tried to do the payment and it worked so what it does it it helps the engineers to identify the interesting patterns some of the interesting breakpoints of the app and then solve for it so that's it you can read about it in more details lastly but not the list i will also cover one more use case one of the papers from bytedance parent company of tiktok on um, different software ai testing agents Lang large language models and llm agents have been applied to fix bugs automatically demonstrating the capability in addressing software defects here in this paper uh, they have collected four most outstanding commercial system mars code agent Honeywell Com, Gru, Alibaba Ling, my agent, and they have tried to compare uh, the performance of all these AI agents in automated software testing. To give you an overview, what these LLM testing agents do is given a uh, brief overview of the issue description, they are able to reproduce the issue, identify the files which needs to be modified. They are able to come up with a uh, strategy or bunch of actions that can be taken and then they finally do the code changes and solve things end to end so end to end software testing they have compared some of the llm agents mars code agent developed by bytedance is a bug fixing system that combines code knowledge graph software analysis techniques and llms it uses a reproducer agent to automatically reproduce the bug described in the issue reports the system construct the code knowledge graph for the code repository and utilizes graph reasoning software analysis techniques and the reasoning capabilities of llms to achieve fine grain defect localization so it is able to solve the uh, bug by doing uh, these things graph reasoning software analysis uh, and using the capabilities of llms honeycomb is another agent based bug fixing system developed by honeycomb it provides tool for file viewing editing enabling it to attempt to construct reproduction scripts of all the issues it try to reproduce the issue and then identify which files needs to be changed what needs to be changed and so on gru is another workflow based bug fixing systems developed by gru it first uses an llm to select files uh, then the llm makes decision on which file to change and what to change similarly there is alibaba link my agent and so on i will add the link of this paper also in the description section so the idea was to give you a flavor how companies are using gen ai to solve very interesting problem statements 
So with that, we come to the end of this video where we looked at four interesting cases. How Dudas has solved cold start problem using LLMs, entity resolution problem using LLMs. We also looked at Uber's use case where it created a co-pilot to uh, do an automated question answering and saving a lot of engineering hours. We also looked at the new way of testing mobile applications. We looked at LLM based agent by Uber to test their mobile application called Dragon Crawl and also looked at some interesting patterns it was able to find. We also looked at ByteDance paper where it compared different software testing AI agents where these AI agents are able to reproduce the code, able to identify which files to change, able to come up with a systematic approach of trying out different things and finally doing an end to end testing. So this is an interesting world of Gen AI. Uh, hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more such updates. Bye.